Hello, it's Beach Cam's man and Jack from BAM. And we're going to do a little guided tour around the station. He's going to show us the work they've been doing over the weekend closures. And then we're going to head along the seawall. Right then, Jack. So um, the weekend closures are over now, aren't they? Or the full weekend closures? Yeah, that's it. So over February, we've been working every weekend, uh, roughly on 40 to 48 hour blockades. Um, we completed all four weekends. Um, we've so far completed 200 metres of platform renewals, so that involves yeah. the removal of the, plat uh, the existing timber platform on the downside, um, and also the installation of all the copers and oversails where, where you see them as we walk through now. Yeah. Um, so there is still 100 metres left to complete on the top section of platform uh, one up there. Yeah. That's going to be done over the next four to six weekends on Saturday nights only. Uh, they're just standard rules of the routes that you get every Saturday night when the trains aren't operating. Yeah. Um, as you can see as we're walking through now, um, we've installed the edging curbs which go down the back here. Um, we still need to kind of clean up all of the fencing and, and get the temporary lighting off. There'll be then a little bit of a fillet, as you can see where the guys have done a, a bit of an exercise there through, yeah. just to neaten the edges right the way through. Um, you've got new... Um, all the new posts which have been installed. Okay. There will be new signage going onto those posts, so that's just in the process of being ordered. That should be here in the next couple of weeks, and that'll yeah. be getting switched out for uh, the new GWR signs. Okay. As you can see right the way throughout the platform now, we've got the new yellow line all the way down, new copers and tactiles installed on the right-hand side here. Uh, the guys are going to come through and do a bit of repointing over the weekends, just in areas where, where we kind of got things in place just to open up the platform. Um, you see the new zone markers on the floor. Just the zone markers there, therefore uh, when the train pulls into the station and obviously it t tells you which carriage to go to for disabled access or for going on with bikes or push chairs, etc. Yeah. Um, at the end of each of the platforms now, uh, we've installed new pla end of platform gates. So there's one at the top side oh, here, yeah. uh, and then there's two down the bottom. Still got a little bit more of the um, the downside platform to complete, and the, the, then there'll be another one at the top end. Okay, it's looking great. There will also be an emergency access gate on that opposite side, so you can walk onto the seawall if there is ever an emergency okay. or a fire in the station. Where, where, like where's that, that going to be? Down the bottom? Right at the top next to the bridge. Okay. Um, down the end of the platforms now, uh, we've done the interface back into the existing, so you can see the, the new copers which have been installed there. They don't need tactiles on the back, and that's why there's um, not none throughout that section. Yeah. And then down through here, it just needs a really good clean up, um, get all the, the fencing cleaned back up, and then over the next eight to ten weeks, the lighting will be installed and the public announcement speakers and the CCTV. So every so often you see a little little kind of hole there on the floor um, that should have a, a, a little uh, bag in the top of it and there's a, there's a couple more as we walk down now what those are for is to it's for where the duct tin sticks up that goes into all the chambers right and then when we come to install the lighting chambers we'll run all our cables through that duct tin okay right yeah it's looking good very busy absolutely so <laughs> it's massive achievement to all involved really I mean the, the four weekends have been have been very very time pressured, I'd say. Ab absolutely. Yeah. Well, I've, I've, you know, I'd, I'd come down on the Saturday when you got started. I'd come down on the Sunday when you should have been, nearly been finished, but you still, even though you were seriously stressed and everyone was working hard, you still managed to get the, the railway open on time. Absolutely. So we, we, have, we didn't have any overruns from the four weekends. That's amazing. Uh, no accidents, and obviously a massive credit to all the guys and everybody involved. Yeah. In it, really. Yeah. I mean, the, the, a lot of people were very impressed watching through the. YouTube comments, what you've all, all, also seen as well, yeah. It's just the volume of work you, 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 you can achieve, really, in 48 hours. It's, yeah. It, like I say, it's just massive achievement. So just just on this section as we're walking through now, um, this section will eventually be resurfaced again at some point in time. Um, that's when the new lift bridge is installed. That's right, yeah. So as you can see on the right-hand side here, we've only done temporary tie-ins to the existing ramp back into the back end over here. And from this section, all of this section here will be ripped out. Um, the, the new lift bridge foundation will be going roughly where that car is there. Uh, and then you'll have the stairs which run down through here. So the ramp that you see in front of me will be removed probably somewhere around January 2023. Right. So as we're walking on through now, 
We go back into the station buildings. It's all the new manhole covers and drain tops. Yes, yeah. Everything's been reinstated. Everything that was here previously had all corroded to the, the, yeah. the lids had corroded to the frames, so you couldn't actually get in there to access them. Um, so everything's new right the way throughout here. On the right hand side, as we're walking through now, you can see all the, the, the drainage for the platforms, which feeds back into the local drainage system. So you've got the gratings in through here. Yeah. And then again, right down the bottom. Ah, the new gates. We've got the new platform gates in again. So on this end, we haven't done the tie-ins to the existing surface at the moment. So you can still see the difference of where we've come up in height over there. Yeah. Um, that's roughly about 100 mil on this side. On this side, the platform didn't need to come up as much in this particular section. So yeah. we're basically tying back into the almost existing levels through there. Yeah. Um, so new gates, once those once the platform's been realigned at the end, then all of the old gates can come out, so they'll be removed, and they, they um, they'll, they'll be removed and become redundant, and this will act as the, the, the kind of anti-trespass through here. The matting that you see on the corner there, that's anti-trespass matting. Um, we can't put anything closer no. to the edge of the railway line because of the trains that come through. Um, so brilliant, yeah, looking good. Side. Um, we'll have a run through the opposite side very quickly, and then we'll walk back through the seawall. A lot's been done over there since our last visit. Yeah, I can imagine. And that, that's been one of the challenges and things for us, really, that all of the guys which have been working, the possession shifts and the tidal, sh uh, the possession shifts and the abnormal blockades throughout February, and the same resource and same engineering staff that complete all of the works on the tidal works, that, that do all of the tidal works so for us as well. Been double busy then. Yeah, so yeah, I've been jumping back into tidal in the week and then coming back in on the weekend to do abnormal blockades and focus on the station platforms. But now that's been delivered. In about a week and a half's time, we're gonna jump back onto working every other weekend on the tidal shifts like we used to do. So on the right hand side, as we're walking through here now, it might be a bit noisy because we've got the guys behind with the, the breakers down on the bottom of the wall. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get some that in a minute. So on the right hand side here now, we have the concrete barriers and the fencing which is on top of it. That's only a temporary measure while we complete the construction of the lift bridge behind. Um, we can't put any permanent fencing up there because it'll just be coming down. Yeah. So again, this section here will be resurfaced back into the, 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 um, back into the footbridge once that is installed. Okay. On the right hand side as we walk up now, you can see obviously all the timber boarding's now gone, all the fencing's yeah. gone, and, you, and you're pretty much right on the back of our L units. On the front face of these L units, there is a cladding to go on there, which is why that channel is left out at the bottom, yeah. on the right hand side at the moment. So the dish channel here collects all the water from the platforms and takes it into the drainage system and outfalls through the front of the facing panels yeah. on the seaward side. And then, the, um, and then like I say, that, that void on the right hand side of the dish channel is just so we can get our cladding into there, and once that's in place, we'll, we'll concrete Put all that all through, up. yeah. So we've got the cladding on order. That takes about 12 to 16 weeks. I think that's coming from Portugal. Oh, is it? Yeah. There is a gap on this one particular unit here, because that's where we pour all our concrete through. Yeah. Um, so if you just pop the camera up over the other side of the fencing, you can see down there, that's where our concrete line comes through, and that's why the structural slab in this area hasn't been concreted. Uh -huh. Oh, many pigeons, as always. They're still here, yeah. They're still they here. Don't want to go, do they? Absolutely not. <laughs> and again, new signage posts throughout for when the new signs turn up. They'll be going on. They'll just be station names and or yeah. or um, showing you how to get up and over the footbridge, etc. Right. So as we walk down to Coast Guards Bridge now, we'll just, I'll just give you an update on that. So that's planned to open on Monday. Yep, okay, that's uh, brilliant. We've invited some of the residents from Coast Guards Cottages down Amazing. for the opening. Uh, so that'll be from about 11 o'clock on Monday morning. Okay. Uh, and then people will be able to access from Dawlish Warren up over the Coast Guards Bridge there. Yeah, people are looking forward to that. Yeah.
So this is where Coast Guards will be opening up from. Um, you won't be able to access this side of the seawall. You can see the guys just finishing up, putting the fence in for there now. Everything that side of the fence will be accessible. You won't be able to access over the beach no. um, just because of, of safety issues with us working down there with all the machinery and plant. But you can go down onto the, other, the, beach, the beach on the other yeah. side or come up from the beach to the other side. Oh, brilliant. And then, like I said, the Palisade Gate in the background over there, that'll be getting removed as well. Amazing. The, the only final thing to do on, on the, on, in this section is the floor joints, which are getting done uh, later today and then um, tomorrow morning as well. Now the weather, it's obviously nice weather. Yeah. The rest of the week's been a bit miserable. It has been, that. yes. So as we walk through now, you can see that completed section of the promenade. Yeah, this is looking great. A. Wow, benches in place. Benches in place, ready to go. You can see on the right hand side where we started sealing the floor joints up. Okay, yeah. That's called polysulfide sealant. Nice tide today as well. Yeah, very low that is. We're in the middle of spring tides at the minute, are we? Yes, yeah. So this week, because we've been on back on good tides and we've also finished the infill, so concreted up behind all of the facing panels that were previously installed. If you remember last time, I think, on the video, I think our last tour was about six weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, last time you were here, we were, we were about halfway up the facing panels. We're now, right. the, we're now to the top right the way throughout the area. And then we're going to recommence with installing the recurve units throughout that section. Yeah. So you can see the arm of the crane sticking up in the air. That was delivered back to site yesterday. That's uh, right. Yeah, I, I was trying to get down to catch that, but just far too much on, unfortunately. Absolutely. Well, a bit of a pigeon show. <laughs> yeah. The blocks that you see on the right hand side are for our temporary lighting, that, they only remain uh, in place until the permanent lighting, lighting done, is installed. Right, okay. So these are lighting the platform up, are they? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Certainly coming on, mate, looking really good. Thank you very much. As we go down to the bottom now, you'll, you'll, you'll get the feel for where we've been. Uh, and fill it behind the back of section C and then I'll walk over and show you the channel diversion because I don't think you've been down since that's been done, have you? No, not since it was finished. So again, just our concrete line on the right hand side, how we're servicing the whole of the job with concrete at the moment. That's like our our, our lifeline as such, really. If, if that goes down, there's no other way of getting concrete into the scheme. Yeah. So th this section, is this going to be part of the platform here? We're it looking it at? will be, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's been extended, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Leon. Um, so what Leon's doing at the moment, he's just breaking out the existing wall, which was there before. Uh -huh. um, and that's so we can get the track side units in. So a very similar unit to what's on the left hand side of the promenade up there. Yeah. Uh, they go in through this section and what they do then is tie into the wall of the footbridge. Okay. So there'll be a footbridge in that gap where you can see there's a, there's a recess there. Yeah. The footbridge will sit up in there and the stairs will up onto the footbridge will sit in there as well. Okay. And, and the lift shaft a, up there. And the lift shaft up there, yeah. Okay. And then the uh, there will be a wall on this side of the footbridge protecting, uh, protecting the stairs and the bridge itself. Amazing. So before, you, before your last visit, um, we were probably stood about two metres down from where we That's are right, yeah. on here. So you can see how we've, how we've increased the level right the way throughout here. The guys are back in now, coring down uh, into the existing concrete and the piles, ready to install the recurve units because we've, we've got to drop our dowel bars down through there. So are we stood where the benches were be be beneath here, here now, are they? We are, Oh, yes. wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my good progress. Yeah. So one of our biggest issues that we're having now is obviously the, the amount of available space to store things in. Yeah. And we're kind of working <laughs> yeah. our way down into the corner now. So, so how many machines you got here that you... So we have the 70 ton crane, yeah. the 14 ton excavator, there's a 14 ton piling rig with a mast sticking up in the air behind yeah. that. You've got the 20 ton excavator over there and you've got the 70 ton excavator on the left hand side here. Wow. If you can imagine in a storm, all of this machinery needs to be as close to that wall as possible. Absolutely. Um, but the crane is, has been delivered back only yesterday yeah. and the pylon rig then goes next Wednesday. 
Um, all of the piling works will be complete in section B then. Okay. So in total, they've installed 30 piles to date out of 38 piles. Yeah. So they've got eight left to do, rather than two a day, so roughly four days left. They're working tomorrow. So by Wednesday, they should be all finished up and out of here. Amazing. Uh, that'll get rid of the piling kit then. Yeah. And then our, our other main focus then is, is basically getting straight into section A, so they're still in pond area. Yeah. So we'll have a little walk over. Uh, just watch the concrete hose there. Bizarre how it's so different every time I come in. So many changes. Oh, that's looking really good. And when are the curves going on there, did you say? Uh, over the over next week. So they should be done by next Friday, all the way throughout that section. Wow. And that'll be that classed as resilient then. Yeah. Uh, as soon as the wave return goes on the top, it's classed as resilient. Then. Amazing. And obviously from the last, last video you did when you came up in the platforms, you can see the effect of having that recurve unit. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. The, yeah. On, on the top where we were just right on the corner there. <laughs> yeah, you can you see got, You can obviously see the arches there in the facing panels. Yeah. And a bit of bam nuttle as well, get a bit yeah. of green and orange on there. So there's the, the pile that they're working on today. That's the well, they're working on two. One, one where the all where the machine is sat now, drilling down. Oh yeah. And this one's probably drilled to full depth. They're just waiting for the concrete to arrive in the cages now. And how deep do these go again? Uh, Fourteen meters. <laughs> That's just. I just don't get that. <laughs> it's amazing. So, certainly not being moved, are they? Once they're in. Absolutely not. So now you can see our channel diversion. Um, yeah. So uh, over that section there, um, at the top side, we do have to finish off a small section of channel lining up the top there to tie back into the existing. Yeah. Just to basically plug it, plug it, and stop any any excess water going around our temporary measures that we've got in place there. Yeah. Uh, we can't do that at the moment because the channel level, well, the brook level is too high at Quite the moment. Quite high, yeah. Just, so because amount, just because of the amount of rainfall we've had lately. So. Yeah. And also the combination of that and spring tides isn't really. No. the right environment to be doing it in. So next week when the, the tidal range drops off, and obviously over the next four or five days now, we're, we're not having much rain down here. No. So this level should drop and we'll get the infill section completed in there. And then what the guys have been focusing on is removing the old still in basin wall. So yeah. obviously that's, that's completely gone now on the front side. Um, and then where you see the, the excavation or the big puddle over there, that's yeah. where the guys have started the foundation works. We started the foundation works two nights ago. Yeah. So far, we've put just under 100 metres cube of concrete into the ground over there to support the new wall and the new still in basin area. Okay. We're probably worth maybe showing a bit of an image on, on what that's going to look like. I can share that again with yeah. you after. Um, the existing bridge where you used to walk over from the Marine Parade side onto Coast Guard side, that's gone now. Yeah. Uh, you can see you can see the oh yeah where, where it used to where be. the old bridge used to be. <laughs> yeah. That's just been cut wow. off um, and, and then removed. And then we've, we've left all that rock over there. So that was anything that's not salvageable or reusable. Yeah. We've left that on the beach just to give us a bit of a protection, really, yeah, yeah. more than anything. Wow. Amazing. You can see our temporary measure that we've just got in place at the moment, which is just the sandbags underneath there with concrete blocks on, on top. Yeah. Um, and then, like I say, we're, we're going to be building a new section of wall through here. Just a diagonal one. Yeah, a yeah. diagonal. Just because you can see where you've got little bits coming around the edge over the back there. We just want to plug it up completely and prevent anything going through. Yeah. Like I say, that'll get done next week. Brilliant. Right, Jack, well, thanks very much from the whole of Dawlish and um, you've done some brilliant work and people are loving these tours and the work you're doing and how quickly it's being done as well. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah. I uh, know. Well, th thanks for everybody for all the comments. I do read them all on, on Facebook and on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Um, and like you say, there is a lot of good praise in there and I do try and pick up on any of the, the questions that people do have. So, you know, the more comments, the better, really. And if absolutely. you do have any questions, obviously yeah. feel free to email yourself. Or, yeah. Or, or comment on your posts and I'll be happy to answer them and throughout the tours. Try and keep you informed. Right then, thanks Absolutely. very much mate. No worries. Cheers. Thanks again Neil.